Right, so what I'm going to do is switch the printer on. And this has got no cartridges in, so we've got to let it go through its sequence and recognise there's no cartridges. Just lifted the lid up there and you can see the cartridge thing moving around. This is a very easy uh, CIS to fit. Just let the printer go through its procedure. It'll always do this anyway. Nothing we can do about it. We can't stop it doing this. There. If you look up here, the red lights come on up here saying that there's no ink in there. Well, we know that, don't we? So we've got to press the red light to get the uh, carriage to come into place to put the cartridges in. Press it again and again and again and again and again and there it is. That's into place. All I've got to do now is put the cartridges in. And now on this model we don't have to take the uh, cartridge lid off. We just click it up. We get the cartridges and we put them all in together. Pretty simple thing to do there. Just put them all in together and click them down. Make, make sure that all six are in. They all click there, but just to make sure, I put a finger on one end, a thumb on the other, and go individually all six to make sure all six are as down. Ah, that one wasn't clicked in there, you see. They're all down as far as they can go. All six are in so they will register. It's important that you make sure they're all down as far as they go. You won't always hear a click, but uh, do make sure they're down right to the bottom. Press quite hard. You're not going to break the printer. So many people don't want to press hard because they think they're going to break it. You won't break the printer. Right, we've got the cartridges in. And then the piping's got to come across here. Comes across to the left. And if you look down here, move the camera, this here, there, is an angle. By the way, I've got, I'm absolutely filthy on my hands today. I've just come straight from uh, doing cartridges. I don't like to wear gloves because they do my head in, so I get my hands filthy every day. But this is from doing cartridges. It's got nothing to do with these CIS. Be assured you will not get ink all over yourself like I have on my hands. I'm like this all the time. The only time my hands are clean is when I'm in bed. Right, we've got the uh, piping there, this angle here, and we come across it and just close that door. There. That's in place. It's not going to crush the pipes. Nice, soft and perfect angle. Now I've got to get the piping into place. I'll move the camera around for the next step. Right, now I've got to put on the uh, support arm for the piping, and this comes in the kit. That there, and this little clip here. They come in the kit. What you've got to do is pull the piping across to the left, like that, make sure there's no twists, straight across, and then you've got to put this over it, there, like that. And if you, you can let go of the piping then. And if you look there, where that little bin is there, just there, put that in about the middle of that, approximately in the middle, that line there. So as long as it's approximate, you'll be okay. Then you need to peel off the back. Hold your piping there and stick that across. That's it. This sticks up there. Don't be worried about this gap because that's just floppy like that. So you've got that inline there. Curl your piping over into there and you get your clip, this clip, clip it into one slot there and one slot there and that will hold your piping in place there like that and then get, that's going to come across to the left and we're going to get another piece of uh, piping attachment which I've got here in this bag again peel off the um, sticky bit so that it goes sticky and put that here so it comes across straight across I'll just turn the uh, camera there so you can see it. Put that there. Put your piping over it like that. And again that little clip just clips in there and that holds the piping into place like that. So I'll just go up there. You're coming out of there 
straight across, no twist, curling back up and through there. But make sure down here isn't too baggy. If it's too baggy, you'll get it will sense a jam when it comes up this end. So you just want a bit of slack there and you should be okay. So that's all set up really. All we've got to do now is see if the cartridge is recognized. Now to get it to recognise we need to press this red one up here, it's got the red light on, press this button here and it will go through the uh, procedure as if you just put some brand new uh, cartridges in. Well you have really, you've just got some piping attached to them. So that's charging up the uh, cartridges now, you can hear it, it's recognised the cartridges and it's charging them up, going through its normal procedure as if you just put some new Epsons in there. Even if you put new cartridges in, it will still do this. It's got nothing to do with the CIS, the amount of time. There you go. And it's recognised those cartridges. So all we've got to do now is see if it is going to print OK with the lid up and with the lid down. We just put a bit of paper in the top there. I'll go to the uh, computer to print something off. Just clicking print on there, make sure I choose the right um, printer, there it is, R200, and press OK. It will stay on video until this uh, stops printing on this slot so you can see all four colours. It won't be long now. This actually looks yellow the way it is, but it's not, it's red, it's the way the light is shining on it. I'm just looking through the top now and I can see that it's 75% um, down the uh, last colour, so it's only going to be about another 15-20 seconds for the video. I don't mean to bore you, but I do like you to see that everything is fine. and it's just about to finish and there you go, there are the four colours there oops, I dropped it this is the test print I always do to make sure that we're getting all four colours through and you can't get any better than that blue, yellow, red and black all perfect you must remember though, do clean your heads periodically, these people haven't cleaned them in over a year, there's no wonder it came out terrible. Well, that's how to set up the uh, CIS. Uh, my phone number's going to be on at the end anyway. If you get any problems, you can give me a ring. Um, thanks for watching.